There are fundamental mindset shifts that confident people have had at some point in their journey that have allowed them to step into that confidence, to step into who they are and allow themselves to be themselves without apologizing for that. And today we're going to talk about what five of these mindset shifts are so that you too can start feeling a whole lot more confident and comfortable with exactly who you are now. If you're new to me and this is the first time we're connecting, my name is Julia Christina and I'm a registered clinical therapist, a researcher, a coach, and an online course creator. I have a master's degree in counseling psychology and I work to help men and women get through the crap that is holding them back so they can like themselves and their lives more every day. And these mindset shifts are going to be huge for helping you like yourself and your life more. And the first mindset shift that confident people have had is they have allowed themselves to stop waiting for permission or approval for every single decision that they make in their lives. And that means permission or approval from anyone, from their parents, from their pastor, from their therapist, from their coach, from their friends, from their colleagues, from the person working in the checkout at the grocery store, that they seek out advice, that they ask for thoughts and opinions and feedback and reflections, but they take that in through a filter and understand that everybody is coming from their own perspective, that nobody is an expert on them and their lives. And so they take that information, they take that feedback, they take those suggestions, they take that advice and they think about it and they sort through it and they reflect on it and then they decide which parts of it are congruent and consistent with what is important to them. They take that information and then they listen to themselves. They make informed decisions, but they don't wait for permission or approval. They trust themselves. They trust themselves to be able to make decisions for themselves and their lives. And the truth is, is because they also know that the person in most situations who's going to be most impacted by their decisions is them. And so they take responsibility for those decisions. They don't pass the buck by waiting for somebody else to give them permission or approval. They listen to themselves and they trust themselves and they move forward with their lives. The next mindset shift that they have had, and this is a huge one, and for some of you, you might be there, and for some of you, you might not quite be there, and you're still looking for the shortcut. And what confident people know is that the shortcut is the long cut, that there is no replacement for doing things properly, for digging deep, for doing the work, for learning and growing and going through the process that we all need to go through to get to where we want to get to. There's no shortcut, there's no hack, there's no easy button. The shortcut is the long cut because what a lot of us do is because, okay, Side note, the long cut and going for the long cut and doing things right is oftentimes uncomfortable, it's difficult, it can be painful, it's not easy, that's for darn sure. And so in our attempts to avoid that discomfort, to avoid that pain, we go from shortcut to shortcut to shortcut. We spend all this time trying to avoid any kind of discomfort by trying to find the latest hack, the easy button, the shortcut, and we end up wasting all of our time going from shortcut to shortcut. And that becomes the long cut. We take all this time and we don't really get anywhere. Doing it right, going through due process, doing the work, getting uncomfortable, the long cut is going to save you time. And people who are confident know that they can handle things that are uncomfortable. They know that they can deal with stuff when crap hits the fan, that they can do the work, they can do it right. They know that the shortcut is the long cut. And they also know that as they go through it and as they do it, they will get more confident as they learn and grow. 
and as they expose themselves to things and as they push their own boundaries and limits, as they let themselves expand, they will get more confident. They let themselves be awkward and uncomfortable and weird at the beginning. Let me tell you. <laughs> When I first started doing videos and I look back now and I'm like, holy cow, and I was so uncomfortable and I was so insecure and I thought I needed to be this therapist and talk in this really soothing therapist voice to be this person that I thought I needed to be instead of just being myself, but I had to go through that process. I had to be weird. I had to be uncomfortable. I had to kind of pretend to be somebody else at first to realize that the only person I can be is myself. And I had to go through the discomfort of learning that, of letting ourselves suck and be uncomfortable and go through it and get weird. <laughs> It's okay to let things get weird and confident but people know that, that that's part of the process. The next thing that confident people know well, and this is fundamental, why not me? And they know this. We look around and we see other people doing things and we see other, have you ever done that? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever looked around at somebody else and been like, oh my gosh, look at that person doing that or look at that person going for that or look at that person, you know, pursuing that or working towards that. You know, who am I? I could never do anything like that. I'm not important enough. I'm not fancy enough. I'm not good enough. Have you ever felt that way? What is it? What is it that you feel like you couldn't do? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to know what you feel like you are not good enough to be able to do. And my question for you, and this is what confident people know, why not me? A lot of times we think like, why me? Why do I deserve this? Why, why do I think I can do this? Well, why not you? We're all just people. Anyone who has accomplished or achieved or gotten anywhere in life has done it by working at it, by trying, by practicing, by growing, by investing themselves, by getting messy, by working at it. So why not you? Okay, maybe you can't do it if you're not willing to do the work, if you're not willing to try, if you're not willing to show up, if you're not willing to get uncomfortable, yeah, then maybe you're not, that's not for you. But anyone who has gotten anywhere in life or gotten the things that they wanted out of life have put themselves out there and they haven't let that excuse of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not, you know, special enough or important enough. Spoiler alert, none of us are. We are all just people making our way in the world today with everything we've got. And now you can sing the Cheers theme song with me. <laughs> Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. And we all are doing it. So why not you? Why can't you have healthy relationships or get the promotion or do the presentation or reach your goals or bring something powerful and meaningful to the world? Why can't you be successful? Write the book, give the talk, do the thing, start the business, fulfill the dream. Why not you? We're all just people. The next one. Confident people don't spend all their time looking at where they're not. Have you ever done that? Have you ever spent all your time looking at where you haven't gotten to and said, but I'm not there yet. I haven't achieved that. I haven't accomplished that. So I can't feel good. I can't celebrate. I can't, you know, be satisfied. I can't be happy yet because I haven't gotten there. So they, confident people don't spend all their time looking ahead. What they do, they do two things. First of all, they allow themselves to look back and say, holy crap, I've gotten so far. That line where I started, yeah, it's, it's so far back there that it's almost a dot. <laughs> the line is a dot to me. <laughs> if you're a Friends fan, then you know exactly what that is. But they look back and they allow themselves to see how far they have come and where they are and how much they've grown. And they allow themselves to celebrate that each moment in their journey. Because spoiler alert, 
It's not about the final destination. There is only one final destination. And once we get there, we can't do it again. It is only about the journey. It is only about celebrating and recognizing and feeling good about where we are now, what we're doing now, how we're learning and how we're growing and how we're expanding and how we're failing and how we're getting back up now. There is no there. There is only here. And confident people let themselves be here and feel good about where they are. And they also look back and see and celebrate how far they have come. Yeah, they absolutely have goals and dreams and things that they are moving towards, but they are allowing themselves to be present and connected and happy and, 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 and find the joy and the celebration in the process. They let themselves say, good for me. The next one, this is a huge one and one that I'm gonna say pretty much all of us struggle with or have struggled with at some point in our lives. If you haven't, amazing. Let us know your secret if you've never struggled with this. But confident people allow themselves to not be liked by everyone. They allow themselves to say, if someone doesn't like me, it's not because there's something wrong with me, it's because I'm not their preference. It's because I'm not their cup of tea. And if you think about it, not everybody is your cup of tea. You don't like and connect with and vibe with and jive with every single person that you meet. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. It just means they're not for you. And that is okay. In all honesty, we are all, if we allow ourselves, okay, if we allow ourselves to show up as who we are and we don't hide and dumb ourselves down and, you know, like put on these walls and pretend to be something else and, and people please and pretend and, and, and try to just like be perfect all the time. If we are actually being ourselves, we are going to be deal breakers for some people. And we are all also absolutely going to be deal makers for others. So let yourself be a deal breaker for some people. Let yourself be a deal breaker for some because that's going to allow you to be more of a deal maker for other people. It's going to allow you to be more connected with other people in genuine, authentic ways if you are being yourself and getting that if someone doesn't like you, it's not because there's something wrong with you. It's because you're just not for them. And that is okay. I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, and that's just perfect. And I'm a deal breaker for some people. I totally get that. And that's okay. Some people are not gonna connect with the way that I communicate. Somebody or people are not gonna resonate with what I teach and how I teach. They're not going to like it. And some things that I do, they are not gonna like, and some of those things are gonna be deal breakers and some of them aren't. And again, some of the things that people don't like about you, they might not like them, it might, might kind of, you know, not be their favorite. And some of those things might not be deal breakers. They might just be like, you know what? They'll get that, you know, none of us are perfect. And I don't love it about that person, but I still love all these other things about them and I really care about them and we have a really good relationship and they don't have to be perfect. And if they're not perfect, it's not necessarily a deal breaker. But sometimes, yeah, some of those things are deal breakers. And that's okay. It's okay for other people to be deal breakers for you. And it's okay for you to be a deal breaker for someone else. I'm a deal breaker for some people. Are you? Let me know in the comments section below if you are ready to allow yourself to be a deal breaker. I have a new download. It's my favorite healthy reminders, things that instead of, you know, positive affirmations, and I've done a whole video about why positive affirmations are kind of a load of crap, and, you know, I'll put the link to that but it is a list of healthy reminders, things that I like to remind myself of that keep me grounded, that keep me feeling good about who I am and where I am and what I am right now. I'm gonna put the link to that below. You can grab that download. I think it's my seven favorite healthy reminders, either five or seven, I can't remember right now, but that will be below. You can grab that. Let me know. 
Which one of these mindset shifts connected with you most? Which one are you ready to take by the horns? Are you ready to tackle? Are you ready to allow yourself to step into? Like the video, share it out. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. That's the other thing I was going to say. Subscribe to the channel. Come and join my Facebook group, goodformegroup.com, full of perfectly imperfect men and women. See you there. Take good care.